Few historical films are as wildly popular today as Gladiator from the year 2000, which tells the turbulent life of Roman General Maximus in about two and a half hours, with many epic scenes that make it a well-rounded story with a definite conclusion. It was therefore a big surprise when, after more than two decades, those in charge actually announced the production of a sequel. In today's original, we take a look at the plot, the production, and the cast of the sequel and provide you with a summary of all the relevant information. In doing so, spoilers to part one are inevitable. So if you haven't seen the classic yet, you should definitely do so. Otherwise, enjoy our brief preview of Gladiator 2. Following the death of the main protagonist Maximus at the end of the first movie, it wasn't clear what a sequel might look like. For many, Russell Crowe's role is inseparably linked to the success of the historical drama, and so a sequel with a different main character does raise some questions. Although there is no in-depth plot description yet, there are some clues as to how the story will carry on in Gladiator 2. The movie is set about 20 years after the events of the first part, so it also covers the real gap between the two movies. The focus is on Lucius Verus, who was already known from the previous movie as a child. He is the son of Lucilla and bears the same name as his father, who was a Roman emperor for eight years. Even better known is his grandfather, Marcus Aurelius. The latter continued to have a great impact on Roman society for many centuries after his death. Lucius's idol, however, is neither his father nor his grandfather, but Maximus, who made a lasting impression on little Lucius by being fearless in the arena. In Gladiator 2, the now grown-up Lucius will follow the example set by Maximus. This might not be easy, though, since he comes from a prestigious family. They will probably not approve of him following the path of the fallen general in Gladiator, instead of becoming a Roman emperor himself. So, fans can expect an ambivalent protagonist with what is sure to be an exciting story, even though it's not quite clear yet whether Lucius will also become as much as a fan favorite as the brave Maximus. Some actors have already been revealed who will definitely be among the cast of Gladiator 2. In the starring role, we will see 27-year-old Paul Mescal, who is Oscar-nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role for his performance in the 2022 film After Sun. Also cast as a significant supporting character is Barry Keoghan, who is also nominated for an Oscar for his performance in The Banshees of Inisherin. The 30-year-old is to take on the part of the Roman Emperor Geta, and it can be assumed that the two characters will not be very friendly to each other. An official confirmation of his role is still missing. However, the rumor has been persistent for several weeks. By contrast, Denzel Washington, who is also to take on one of the most important roles in Gladiator 2, is definitely confirmed to be joining the cast. This means that after more than 16 years, the actor will once again be working with director Ridley Scott, with whom he already worked in the crime film American Gangster. The top-class cast is also joined by Pedro Pascal. The star of series such as The Mandalorian and The Last of Us will play a leading role as well. Exactly which role he will play is currently unknown, however. Moreover, it is unlikely that we'll see the two dead main characters, Maximus and Commodus, again. In an interview with The Ryan Tuberty Show, Russell Crowe talked about being very happy for Paul Mescal and also a little envious. He considers Ridley Scott's decision to produce a sequel to Gladiator, with Lucius as the focus, to be an extremely smart idea and wishes everyone involved the best of luck. Regarding the production of Gladiator 2, more and more information is coming to light. Allegedly, the first take is set for May 2023, and there are already first shots of the set being built in Morocco. Apart from that, the filmmakers are still keeping a low profile. At least we can guess from the pictures that a true-to-original arena will be built again, even though only the wooden foundation can be seen so far. Filming should then be completed in the course of the year, so that nothing stands in the way of the theatrical release on November 22nd, 2024, except for post-production. Alongside returning cult director Ridley Scott, David Scarpa will take an important behind-the-scenes part in writing the screenplay. He has already been able to gather plenty of experience through films like All the Money in the World and Napoleon, and also replaced the originally planned The Batman author Peter Craig. We are definitely looking forward to more updates and hope to be able to report more about the shooting of Gladiator 2 soon. If you liked our new original episode about Gladiator 2, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do you think Lucius can win the hearts of the fans just like Maximus once did? Or do you believe that the film won't be able to compete with the original at all? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments.